Of course, uh, time you got district, okay. The, the West New Britain governor says more can be done to revamp and roll out service delivery. He says Waigani continues to hold so much power and prohibits provincial governments to fully exercise their mandate. Governor Mutuvel wants the national government to consider this. Some plus sectors, we are purely at the mercy of national agencies. You talk about national roads, we are purely at the mercy of Department of Works. You talk about health, we are purely at the mercy of National Department of Health. You talk about law and order, we are purely at the mercy of, you know, uh, police department and, uh, you know, um, uh, CAS. Speaking more on that, Governor Mutuel says though many provinces want autonomy, he believes the autonomous region of Bougainville is one of a special matter. He said a special consideration has been given to Arab but says the government must look at options to improve the working dialogue with other provinces. For example, Western Britain, we are good at agriculture and tourism, whereas uh, the province with oil and gas, you know, they have a different economy, we have a different economy. So what works in that province will not work for us in uh, Western Britain. So the only way I feel is by th th this is the right time where we really need to understand and we should give the powers to, I, I don't want to use the word autonomy, but decentralize those powers, reduce those centralized powers in Waigani and give the powers to provincial government, local level government, even to the lowest government, give them the power, give them the resources and we see the difference, you know, how things will develop. Concluding his statement, the West New Britain governor says the recent floods in Talasia is a good example where the province has to wait for the National Disaster Office to coordinate efforts and draw down funds to assist the affected communities. He says the slow coordination and action by Waigani is not helpful while people bear the consequence of slow and poor government structure. Mutuvel says other sectors are also affected. It is my personal view, without giving the powers to provincial government, we will never develop, we will never become a developed country in PNG because the more we delay, the more uh, damage and destruction we will do when we continue to control everything sitting in Waigani and only few people sit there and continue. What happened to IFM system? To date we are suffering. We are writing thousands of manual checks. How do we monitor writing all these manual checks with uh, uh, Excel sheet? When we had a perfectly operating system called PIGAS, Provincial Government you know, Accounting System. So when that system failed, why are we not allowed to use that system whereby at least every expenses are recorded properly by the system rather than you writing a manual check, which is, uh, which is very, very risky. Jack Lopawa Jr., National MTV News.